Hi, I'm Kelly Holsendorf reporting to you from the beautiful Brookside Gardens in Wheaton, Maryland. In today's show, we're going to take a look at a new initiative taking shape in the parks designed to get kids off the couch and onto a nature trail. Stay tuned to find out more. Hey again, are you familiar with the No Child Left Inside Act? It's legislation designed to strengthen environmental education for school children both inside and outside the classroom. It does this by giving money to schools for teacher training, curriculum design, and expanding existing environmental programs. All of this, say leaders in the field, will help to save the planet. By teaching our children about the environment, they will want to protect it. But improved environmental education has some other benefits. Studies show that children who play outdoors suffer less from obesity. Kids who spend time outside also have higher educational achievement in other areas, reading, math, language arts, and science, as well as better critical thinking and social skills. And kids who spend time in nature are, well, happier. The No Child Left Inside initiative is a national effort. Locally, park systems such as ours are exploring partnerships with schools, offering nature-based classes and programs, and encouraging free play in natural settings. Later, we'll check in with David Bismera, who is leading our No Child Left Inside effort here in the Parks Department. In the meantime, let's visit some of our nature centers and check out the good natured fun. Because so many things eat bugs. Who eats bugs besides us? Uh, L ladybugs. ladybugs eat other bugs. Um, and, and, um, spiders. And, 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 and spiders. Here, a class called Nature for Shorties at Locust Grove Nature Center in Bethesda is in full swing. It's geared for four and five year olds and offers room to run, plenty of sun, and natural fun, all to help strengthen little hearts and minds. Well, today was pretty much just a nature exploration day, so there wasn't a whole lot of structure. What we wanted to do is just really get them outside in a relaxed atmosphere. So today we had a conversation about the fact that people have favorite animals and what they were. And then we went out for a pretty long hike for that age range, between four and six. And we actually did the entire loop trail and came back up here to the Nature Center. And on the way, we explored under logs and we talked about recycling rotten wood back into the soil and that nature has a recycling program and all kinds of stuff like that. And what else? We found some wonderful caterpillars. We explored the creek. We went under the 100 plus year old sycamore tree and all kind of, I just everything that we saw we stopped and had a look at. Tell us about the programming you do here at Locust Grove. Well we like to program for everybody. We from the youngest to the oldest, we primarily end up doing children's programming. We do a lot of family programs and we kind of specialize in some of those. We have our Wild Montgomery program, uh, bats at Locust Grove, bat night at Locust Grove right here in the meadow um, once a month in the summer. We do toddler times, we do school programming, scout programs, you name it, we do nature programs for everyone. Brookside Nature Center in Wheaton is another one of the four nature facilities in the Montgomery Park system. Like the others, classes are offered year-round. Brookside offers programs ranging in topics from how to make a bird feeder to wildlife wonders. Hey. Might, be, might look like nothing, but what you need to do is make sure you look for anything that's moving, okay? because you might find little um, mayfly larvae or damselfly larvae, and those guys are about the thickness of a pin. Don't worry about getting wet. Black Hill Regional Park features the 500-acre Little Seneca Lake, a great living classroom, and a nature facility of its own. From Black Hill Park naturalists, kids learn about local wildlife, including beavers and their habitats. We dropped in on a recent story time on the lake program about dragonflies. There you go! Look at that beautiful dragonfly right there. We had a lot of fun out here at Little Seneca Lake here learning all about dragonflies, dragons in the sky. 
and uh, we had some story time. We looked for uh, flying dragonflies, and we made a really cool flying dragonfly craft. We have a butterfly, butterfly. coming in to visit us. That's a butter what other programs do we offer at Black Hill? Well, there are other topics that we explore out here with Storytime on the Lake. We could be looking at beavers, uh, bats. We can be looking at uh, bullfrogs. We also do one on uh, lizards. We, uh, we've done butter we do butterflies. Uh, we do lots and lots of different types of animals out here. It's, it's, it's a blast out here on Little Seneca Lake, the largest lake here wholly within Montgomery County. Meadowside Nature Center is located in Rock Creek Regional Park off of Lancaster Road. It not only has eight miles of wildlife trails, but cool indoor exhibits where kids can explore. As I mentioned, David Vizmera is leading the Parks Department's No Child Left Inside initiative. I caught up with him earlier. Tell me a little bit about our No Child Left Inside initiative. Well, as you know, it's a new initiative, but it's kind of not a new thing. We've been doing a lot of these things in the parks for years. But uh, what this is, this is a new initiative that promotes outdoor experiences to connect children and teens to nature. And what this does for us, it allows us in the Avenue to promote the programs that we already do, plus gives us an opportunity to create some new ones. We have a lot of resources in the parks that we use for our program. Uh, a lot of parkland, thousands of acres of parkland, hundreds of miles of, of trails, and a lot of nature facilities with a lot of naturalists that have a lot of knowledge about nature. So how are we implementing our No Child Left Inside initiative? Um, there's a number of different ways. We already have our existing programming, uh, which there's hundreds of programs that happen on an annual basis. Um, we also uh, if you look around at Locust Grove Nature Center and at Brookside Nature Center, we have natural playgrounds. And what these are, uh, if you look at normal playgrounds, they're usually made of plastic nowadays. Uh, we have taken natural elements like trees and mud and sand and twigs and rocks and put those out there for kids to kind of play with, to kind of use their imagination and to get back to kind of creating things naturally. How are we working with the schools? Well, one of the things that works really well with No Child Left Inside is reaching out to kids, and one of the best ways of doing that is through Montgomery County Public Schools. What we have done is we provide an avenue for the schools to bring out kids for field trips at our nature centers and our public gardens, but we're also working directly with the schools. We're trying to get them to use our parks as outdoor classrooms, and we're doing that in a number of different ways. One of the ways is that we're actually sending our naturalists and our horticulturists out to the schools to train the teachers, but also to train the students as far as um, what to do when you come to a park. And we're also extending an invitation to the classes, to the schools personally by the park managers, that'll happen this fall, for them to come out and visit and get to know the park manager and the naturalist, and then hopefully that interaction will start some programming and we'll be able to play off of their curriculum. So we, we hope down the road that we'll be doing a lot of partnership, a lot of work with Montgomery County Public Schools. It's just a natural tie-in for us. Is it almost like an, an adopt-a-park program? Well, it's kind of that. Most of Montgomery County, a majority of Montgomery County Public Schools are located next to parks. So it's just a natural partnership that should be happening. They're within easy walking distance or they're right next door to the schools. So what better way to learn about science than to actually get out of the classroom, walk a short distance down the street, jump into a park, and have a park manager or a naturalist give you a private tour of what's going on in there. And why is this so important? Well, this is real important for a number of reasons. One is um, life has changed. In the short time you and I have been alive, things have changed in the world. I played a lot outside. There was no computers. Television was around, but it wasn't a priority. It wasn't a big thing. Nowadays, uh, we're in a highly urban area. Most of us live in a highly urban area. We watch a lot of TV. We play a lot with computers. Computers rule our life. And everybody's forgetting about going outside and playing with nature. It's our responsibility to create the new stewards of the land for the future. Uh, this next generation coming along, we have to teach them how to appreciate the land. And this is one of the best ways of doing it. Getting them out there and playing. Getting them it. out there and play. Also on an individual basis, um, it helps a child be more creative, be more imaginative, and kind of teaches them common sense in a natural way. And that's kind of what's lacking when you, when kids spend a lot of time with computers and television, 
that's how they're being taught about reality. That's how they're being taught uh, about imagination. They're being told what to think. If you're out in the natural world, you're experiencing, you're experiencing these things for yourself and the imagination just goes wild. Well, thank you so much, David, for all that great information. Thanks, Kelly. To end the show, let's meet Leslie McDermott over at the Children's Garden here at Brookside. The Children's Garden has recently been redesigned and Leslie promised to give us a tour. The annual Children's Day on September 19 offers lots of great learning opportunities. She'll tell us about that too. Hey Leslie, thanks for joining me today. Well, thank you for being in our Children's Garden. Would you like a tour? I would love one. Show me around, please. Okay, this is our newly themed Children's Garden and this year's theme is Nature's Fun in Your Backyard and it's all about reconnecting kids with nature, um, inspiring them to be imaginative and to explore their surroundings, to learn about the various plants in the wetlands and how oh, look about the rock. plants will attract pollinators like honeybees or dragonflies, hummingbirds. We have all sorts of fun things here in the gardens for the kids to see and I think you'll have a fun time too. Mm -hmm. It, it, it looks fantastic, Leslie. What are some of the, the features that we have in here? You pointed out the wetland area. What else do we have? Well, we have our wonderful new tree house, and this is made from recycled materials. The kids love it. They can go in and sweep. They can uh, fill baskets full of interesting objects, and it's a chance for them to get up and climb and see the world from a different perspective. That is a neat tree house. I never had a tree house as a kid. Kelly, we also have a gnome hut that kids love to play in and a worm nursery that you'll have to come back and take a look at. And then we also have interactive tables where the kids can use natural materials to build blocks and explore things in the baskets. You've got something coming up special for children too um, this month, don't you? Yes, we do. It's our annual Children's Day and it's on Saturday, September 19th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And this is the 13th year we've been doing the, uh, the Children's Day. And it will also echo Nature's Fun in Your Backyard. We'll have discovery tents with kids' activities, games and crafts. We're inviting back the Montgomery County Beekeepers Association. They'll bring in a live beehive and um, they'll also talk to you about other pollinators. The uh, University of Maryland Entomology Department is bringing bugs. Oh, so, oh, I don't know if I want to touch them, <laughs> but there'll be bugs and all sorts of fun things. It's all free. It's all free that day. We even have the uh, uh, Rhodes Tavern Tubadors, also known as the RTT. So they're a great children's band. They'll be here entertaining. They'll do two shows, one at 12 and one at 2. And we'll just have sort of all sorts of fun games and activities for the kids to enjoy. So we hope everybody's going to come out. They can see the new children's garden. They can they play can in the children's garden. Children's they, can, they will have a blast. What does the rest of the, the year look like or the rest of the fall? What else is coming up for kids and adults alike? We have all sorts of programs. Everything from children's photography to um, no school day programs. Um, so when kids, school's out, art related they programs, in. yes. So if they want to learn more, they should go to the Brookside Gardens website, brooksidegardens.org, or the next time they're here playing at the garden, stop by the visitor center and pick up the latest copy of the experience program guide. That is wonderful. Thank you so much for taking oh, my me pleasure. This cute my garden. pleasure. <laughs> we should go play now. Let's go play now. <laughs> As you can see here at the Parks Department, we definitely believe life is just better outside. Explore the parks to get back to nature and discover your place in the environment. That's it for today's show. We'll see you right here next time on The Park Show. Go love a tree! Are you wild about Montgomery County? Well, Montgomery County's wild on you. With more than 100 miles of trails and almost 90,000 acres of forested land, the county boasts dozens of great green getaways. These areas alleviate flooding, control erosion, provide habitat for wildlife, and recreational opportunities. Go wild in Montgomery County by exploring a new place to kayak, discovering a unique butterfly habitat, or visiting a nature center. 
Just check out wildmontgomery.org to celebrate nature at its best.